Hey guys, I'm Faith and Nina, and you are witnessing me in my brand new house that I am buying in less than an hour. If you guys have been on this journey with me, then you know we have been through some ups and some downs, but it's here. The time is here, and I am buying this beautiful home. This is my empty home or empty house apartment. Apartment. Whew, I keep saying apartment, but I no longer live in an apartment. I live in a, in a house. This is my empty house tour. I can't wait to show you all the things that I have in store for this house, all the projects that's coming along. So definitely make sure that you guys stay tuned. We are in Baltimore, Maryland. We're in Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm excited. I bought this two bedroom, two bath for about $135,000. All new appliances, all new innovation. This building alone is over 100 years old, but the things that you see here are pretty brand new. I'm really excited to show you guys, so come on with me as I show you everything that's here. Um, I don't have anything moved in. I am an hour away from closing, so you guys get to walk through the house and make sure to do the final walkthrough. If you are on your journey of uh, buying a house right before your closing time, you should always go throughout your house and um, do a, a check. So this is a pro tip. Pro tip, pro tip. Make sure that you walk through your house. Like even though you did everything that you you know you were supposed to do, make sure you walk through the house and make sure that it is basically up to date and everything they said they were gonna do is done and nothing has happened between the time that you last saw it and right before you're about to buy it. Let's go guys. Okay, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. Um, this used to be a fireplace, but they enclosed it. Brick, wood, brick walls, excuse me. Hardwood floors, and so this is like the living room area. I'm not sure what I plan on doing there or where I want to put my couch because it's not that big of like a of a living room space, but it's big enough that I can have like at least six friends over. I could do a game night. And so you see this little nook here, guys. I want to do like some DIY shelves here, so I can have like a little book area and put pictures up. Um, I love this brick wall and I love these lights. I think they're so cool. I want to do like a collapsible, a collapse table that like stays up and then when I have people over it comes out into like a table. So maybe like about here that could fit at least like maybe four or five people because if I'm just here and if I, if I choose to get a roommate, we can just eat there. Like one, two, maybe three people can get right there. So kitchen area, my mom and I did some things in here. Drinks, this is our kitchen. I really like this sink. I think that's cool. And then, look at that. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, so that's the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Um, like I said, I got new appliances, so new microwave, new stove, new washer, and then you know the countertops and cabinets. I'm not too sold on these um, countertops. I don't really like them. I think I will change, either change them out or do some kind of project on top of it. Um, so these are the cabinets that I have. I'm pretty short, I'm only 5'1", so I definitely need like a stair like a little ladder. I have a stool already for my old apartment and I think I'm just gonna, you know, have that. This is my brand new refrigerator. Don't mind that. I'm gonna clean it off, obviously. Um, I'm really excited about this refrigerator because I have so much plans. I really wanna like do some organization with here, in here and whatnot. Ice maker, I put some food in there. And I don't know what I'm gonna do up here, but yeah, and then more storage. And then this leads out to my back door. Oh, can't open it. Back door. Um, so yeah, that's my neighbor's stuff. And then I have this really cool little park right here. Um, I don't know what it's about, but I'm gonna see if I can try to get over there, clean it up, and do some things out there. But yeah, this is my neighbor backyard. Let me take you guys downstairs. 
So I have these winding staircase that I really like. Um, the only thing is I definitely can't get drunk. But this is my basement, pretty open. And um, I think I'm gonna use this as like a recording area, maybe second uh, living room or whatnot. And here is my brand new washer and dryers. They're a little bit on the small side, but they came with the house and I think that's pretty cool because I don't have to get a washer and dryer. And they're pretty, they're brand new and I like them. So, you know, it is what it is. I do want to raise them a little bit, like maybe put them on something just to raise them up a little bit because they're kind of like really low to the ground. Um, extra storage place. Okay, so we made it to the second level. This is what it looks like when you come upstairs. First you get to the second level, there's two bedroom, and this is a door for the um, bathroom. So, it's so a two bedroom, two bath. So this is the room, that's a closet. This is how big the room is. Uh, we're gonna definitely be doing some different things in here, so I'm really excited about that. I like it, it's pretty big. Um, I don't know if you guys can see me, but yeah, it's a pretty big room. Uh, yeah, so I have plans to put like a bed in here, a little desk. I don't really believe, or I believe in TVs, but I want projectors, so there's definitely gonna be like some kind of projector mount here to project uh, whatever anybody wants to do, Roku, Netflix, whatever, whatever, onto the wall. So that's gonna be in here. You guys will see, we're gonna do a whole shop with me, a whole thing, so definitely make sure. My old bed that I have now is probably gonna be put in here and I'm gonna get a brand new bed for the master suite because why not? Um, so yeah, let me guys show you the closet. All right, so this is the closet in the second bedroom. As you can see, it's pretty long. It goes from like about a little bit over here to some rays over there. This is the closet. You close that, open it up, and now you're in the bathroom. So let me show you the guest bathroom. So the guest bathroom is a standard bathroom, you know. You have your fixtures and things, and it's a, it's a standard bathroom. I like it, it has a window, you look out, um, place to put your soap, you know, things. And then this entry is to the bedroom and then this entry is back out into the hallway. So this bathroom is gonna be like a semi-private bathroom for whatever I do in the guest room. And then it will also be used by guests who come over if I have like game night, Friends over, girls night, whatever, whatever, whatever. Fem family and friends will use this bathroom. And now we're gonna go upstairs to my master bedroom. All right, okay, let's go. So we're going up to my master bedroom, the suite, basically. Um, one difference is there's no bathroom right there. So you come in and like I said, it looks exactly like the one downstairs. So there's no real need to show you too much. But this is the closet. Closet is not that big. It's a pretty standard closet, but I have a lot of clothes, so we're gonna have to figure out something about that. And then this is the master bed bathroom. This bathroom looks just like the one downstairs, but slightly different. You know, regular regular stuff. And, oh, hey, that's me. Hey guys. Um, yeah, so this is my bathroom. I have some plans for here too. Obviously, I have plans for the room. Um, but yeah, this is basically my house. And look at the views, guys. So, I mean, I can see everything. Cause you know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm nosy. So I can see everything that's going down on the streets. Um, that's pretty cool. And then I don't know if I showed you guys, but look at this. 
this is my window so I can see like everything that's happening out there not much is happening but I can see it all right guys so that's basically my house tour I'm about to close very soon so I'm really excited about that guys but before I close um, this is a smudging stick it is to ward off bad energy bad vibes and to cleanse this home even though I prayed over this home and I feel like this home is mine and it is mine I still want to just sage the house out and just do a little bit of cleansing do some prayers this is my own thing that I do but I definitely want to like pray over this house and, and visualize myself having good vibes good company good everything here so that's what I'm about to go do and thank you so much for watching to the end you guys have a beautiful 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 day and like always I love you from the bottom to the top thank you so much for walking with me going on this journey with me definitely press like subscribe and the notification bell so you know when I when I upload I'm trying to figure out what days I'm gonna upload by the time you see this video I should have like a regular schedule um I should but you know life happens um, until next time guys you have a wonderful 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 day and peace and blessings comment below what was your favorite and what do you look forward to seeing out of this house turning this house into a home that's the new series before it was buying a home series now it's turning a house into a home series so yeah let me start talking let me get started because we're on a time crunch all right bye